I'm Erin Lucas and this is Lotta Lala Love with Doomtree. Doomtree is a nearly indescribable band. They're a rap group comprised of longtime friends, all from different musical backgrounds, who come together as Doomtree when the calling comes. The seven friends are very different stylistically and musically, but when they come together, they form a very unique and honest sound. Here's my interview. Good morning, day two, Lollapalooza here with Doomtree. What's up, guys? Feeling good. Uh, you guys all met in high school. That's crazy. Yeah, mo most of us did. Yeah, it has been a long time. We've been uh, a rapping group together for like 10 years, a little bit more than that. We were in rival bands in like eighth grade. We hated each other. It's worked it out. We since mended the beef. How did everyone kind of start playing? Who was the first one to pick a band, an instrument up and go, oh, this is actually working. Let's do it. I don't think it was like that. I don't think it was like that. I think uh, I I didn't want, I, I had a desire to rap because my band was breaking up so people could go to college. And I was interested in that. I uh, got an MPC because I didn't have any money to pay for beats. And then it was, for me, I was like, hey, beat, you should do this. Because we had started listening to rap together on like breaks and stuff like that. Yeah, Cease was rapping. It's kind of like everyone just kind of slowly. And when you weren't at home, I was using your MPC. <laughs> I, I think I joined last with another dude named Sims who's here right now, but I was initially like a fan of these dudes. Yeah, I like their stuff and their friend and then eventually asked to be a member. So I think like as they as they grew, their reputation obviously grew larger. So what's it to be at Lollapalooza? What's that like for you guys? It's, it's surreal. It's so surreal. I feel like when we get off stage, it's going to feel personally like a hero moment. When you say Lala, you know, my mom knows that that's what You know, she doesn't know how to spell it, but she knows it's a really big deal. And so I feel like even for people who are not in the music industry, this has a very different, like, cultural value, I feel like, than, you know, even if you're like, hey, I'm playing Bonner, that's exciting in the industry, but this is exciting even, like, outside the industry. Yeah, cool. yeah. Do you guys prefer playing festivals or just one-off shows? Is there a difference it's a as huge, an artist? It's a huge difference. I think um, <laughs> playing a show in a club, Typically, you get a certain feeling. At this point, you know, we've been doing it for 10 years. <coughs> we'll get a pretty good amount of people who know every single word and flip out with us. Festivals is a different thing because it's a lot of people who maybe have heard of us but don't know what we're all about. It's a totally different thing. It's also an opportunity, you know, because you like it at any festival, you know, there are a lot of people who are going to be waiting for the act who plays after you. And so it's an opportunity, you're, you're auditioning in a lot of ways, like, hey, you know, check out our stuff. So I think at a festival you play for a lot more new people, you have the opportunity yeah. to, if you do well, to like convert, you know, a lot of... Win, win some fans. Yeah, to win some fans. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They've come a long way since the days of making their own CDs and local shows. Their latest album came about when they decided to spend some time in a cabin in the woods in Wisconsin, living only off of booze, sandwich fixings, and a desire to share a message. Sounds like a lot of fun. No Kings, which comes from Obey No Kings, Seek No Thrones, is the amazing result that came from these guys going full tilt on recording their album. Doomtree's whole album is available right now on Spotify, so go check it out. I'm Erin Lucas. This is Lotta Lala Love. Thanks for hanging.